welcome back to SF Craft Season 2 for Episode 18. The King Has Returned. After not recording any clips for about 10 months, we are finally back on the SF Craft realm recording videos again. So in this episode, we are going to just get back into things. We'll get back to work on the bank and the city center and possibly start working on the fourth building. Before we get into the video, I somehow messed up again with the sound and none of the in-game audio recorded. So if you notice, there's no sound in half the clips, that's why. So a lot has changed since we were here last, but a lot is still the same because I think a lot of other people did what I did after first going back to school in person since COVID. Astro realized he wasn't going to win the war, so he caused his own death, and Aaron and I were the only two left in the war. Technically, we probably should have 1v1 to decide who the winner is, but we didn't. So Aaron and I are the winners. We are going to try to finish the bank this episode. And I have placed some stone outlining where the walls are going to be for the villagers. And I already removed the calcite underneath them, so I was able to finally fill in that corner. And this one is slightly different than the others because this is going to have a lectern and a book where people could theoretically request a loan. And over here is going to be a bubble elevator going up to the floors above it where we'll have apartments and probably a few other things. So first we need to work on the roof, which is going to be circular and a rotunda-like roof. So we are going to go into a time lapse and get to work. We are back from that time lapse and the walls for the villagers are finished and the ceiling is complete. And although this over here doesn't look that great, the inside looks a lot better with a bed and sea lanterns and the area in between is open with slabs so they can't jump across. And this one is a little different but it still works. The roof turned out really, really nice though. I think this circular shape looks really good even though I didn't make every level the same. The chandelier lights it up nicely and this looks pretty good but I'll probably add some more end rods onto this later to make it look more detailed. But now we need to actually get ourselves some villagers and finish this floor. It's been a long time since I've checked either of the stores in the shopping district and I just realized I've never even used any of this land around here, but that's okay. None of any of this stuff. 
And a lot of this I didn't restock, but most of it didn't sell completely out. And there's no bricks, of course, because, as I said before, that's never getting restocked. And for the bookstore... None of those. Am I breaking three? Is it even stocked? I should probably restock that. But I have checked the bookstore a few times, and I have taken emeralds out without replacing the book, so that's probably why nothing sold. No mending either. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to restock that because we have absolutely nothing. And let's actually take a look at the inside of this now that it's open. I have no idea what happened here. Rex's been banned for a long time, so I don't know. And this store looks completely different over here. I don't know what this is now. But maybe it'll be finally stocked. Yeah, there's shulker boxes in here. And a lot of other stuff. This store is actually pretty good. I might buy some stuff from here later. And probably nothing in the rest of these. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if anything changed over here. And I don't think it did. I'm pretty sure all this is still the same because Wise Gear and the Communists haven't been on for a while either. I haven't been in here for a while either, so let's hope the vending machines haven't been completely destroyed by people trying to get them to work, and it looks like some of them have, but hopefully they still work. And we're going to need to go to this floor here because we're buying some villager spawn eggs. So I don't have to worry about breeding them and then transporting them. It's a lot easier. Just pay the two diamond blocks and be done with it. And what happened to this one? So let's put a diamond block in. This one hasn't been messed up from the outside, so yeah, it still works. And we'll need a second one. And there we go. So that did cost me two diamond blocks, but that saved me a lot of time. So we are back at the bank, and now I can place these two villagers, because I have already blocked off the door just to make sure they don't escape. And of course that was the first thing they tried to do. But my plan here is just to farm a bunch of carrots and give them to them. So hopefully they will breed enough times, and not too many either. I somehow got all the villagers in their spots pretty easily. Most of them just walked right in. But as you can see there, there's a baby. And there are a bunch of baby villagers running around outside too. So they did breed too many times, but that's better than not enough. And the lectern for this one has a book on it, which will be for loan requests. And the chandelier looks even better now that I've added some end rods onto it. Now we need to work on the bubble elevator, which is going to be right here, as well as the second floor. So we are going to go into a second time lapse and finish those.
So we are back from that time lapse and the bubble elevator is complete as well as the second floor for the most part. We have a desk here so I can meet with people who are requesting a loan, although that's realistically never going to happen. And I added some random items on the desk which look pretty good like this leather helmet on an armor stand which looks like a book. Of course I also have a poppy and a flower pot which just like the one at my base is not being used for anything sus. And over here we have a more private meeting room that could be used for a large group of people such as the entire alliance. So this room turned out really nice too because there is actually no lighting in the room and as you can see it is dark outside so there's not much light coming from the windows either but the room is still lit up because i have hidden torches underneath these stairs and because they're not full blocks the light still travels through them so this room turned out really nice now that the second floor is basically finished we can start working on the next three which are going to be apartments that, again, no one is probably going to rent, but we might get a few people. I originally wanted to have four on each floor, but I think it makes more sense to have three, so I'm still trying to figure out how to make that work. But that is what we are going to be doing next. But to do this, I'm going to need more terracotta, and instead of going all the way out to the mesa to mine more, it makes more sense to just come here and spend a few emeralds now that this new shop exists. So we are going to buy all of these here and we'll leave three stacks. After all this time, the bank is now 100% complete. So let's take a look at the inside. We have our villagers here with a nice rotunda roof and chandelier. And we now have lanterns as well as a drop down. And over here we have our meeting room for people requesting a loan. And here we have our large private meeting room. But now this elevator exists, which goes all the way up to the fifth floor. And we have three apartments on each floor. This one in the corner here is a little smaller because of the diagonal wall. But the other two are the same size. And they're not real big, but they would work for someone just joining the server who doesn't have a house yet. And if there is no land available at the current time, this would be a good place for them to go. And all three of these floors are exactly the same. So to get out of here, you use the drop down that we just used and the one over here. While we're here, we should also probably put something in the sandstone building because this building has just been completely empty for a long time. So I'm going to put another table and some chairs here. There is now finally something on the first floor and this looks pretty good, even though we used a different color wood. I think the dark oak and the spruce worked. And we also have some lanterns on the ceiling. But this table's a little bit smaller, more for just smaller, less important meetings where you wouldn't need to use the bank room. It is finally time to start planning for the fourth and final building of the city center. And there are now a lot of trees here for some reason. I'm guessing these are zeros. And he also left some of his chests. Zero has so many chests just everywhere around the whole peninsula that we are going to have to move. But here I captured one of those villagers that was running around that was an extra one from the bank. And that is because we are going to need it for this build. For this one, I think I am going to try doing a circular build, which I haven't really done too much of especially one of this size. This building will be almost as big as the sandstone building, and it will be mostly white concrete with some stone bricks and glass. So we are going to start by clearing out all of these random items and things in the way. 
Astro just randomly died and left. I have no idea what he was doing, but I'm guessing experienced kinetic energy means he flew into something. But I think that is going to be it for this episode of SFCraft. Thanks for watching this episode of SFCraft. So it was good to get back on the realm and get back to recording for videos because we haven't done it in such a long time. We didn't start any new major projects yet, but we did finally finish the bank and the sandstone building, which have been sitting here partially completed for a long time. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in episode 19.